Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate 2. Uh, last time for some reason my microphone uh, didn't do its job. We live in a shattered uh, world. Yeah. Death and despair are all that remains after the assassin has moved upon the Emperor. Yet this world merely reflects the world above. The heavens are in turmoil, and the game of life and death is chaired by madmen. Yeah. So, uh, basically, we have to... Uh, yeah. To, uh, the microphone works. And so, yeah. For this mission, we need to get uh, a max life above 130. Mm. There's some uh, tools we can uh, in put in the deck to uh, achieve this. Uh, to get the gold token, I believe you need 160 life. So let's uh, see if we can manage that. Um, mm, 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 mm. Is Colby on a good idea? Probably not. He e eat, uh, this this guy's uh, thing eats up your uh, max health as well. I'll probably use Yubi for this actually. Uh, let's put all this stuff in here. And food? Yeah, maybe. Let's throw that in. That one in. There's no point in getting this in. This could work if we get something anti thief, so we'll throw that in. <laughs> Just to get the chance for the uh, token. <coughs> um, don't think the maps are too big. I will throw that in. Uh, max life. I believe the shrine gives max life. Yeah, I think and a Saint Stella's Day actually can also give max life. But let's. Eh, the maiden also gives max life though. Maybe the maiden is better for this. Let's throw the maiden. We haven't used her yet. Next line, no, that requires us to get red. So now we have all this stuff. I think this one actually has a chance to reduce your max life. Far north, we're gonna try. It's probably not gonna work. Just for starters. Um, yeah. It's, it's not ideal. But let's get some max life things in here. Nope, nope. This one is okay. Whoa, this is the only max life st stuff in here? That's really weak. <coughs> Guess we could throw this in. Maybe throw Purgatory in here. Let's throw Purgatory in here. Let's filter on Blessing. Blessing Purgatory things. I wonder what I need to do for this one. Let's throw. Does that. Does this have a. Does have a point? This is a gold cane card. This costs gold. We don't have any way to get gold, basically. Just have to get lucky with with gain cards. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Then let's take a gain any card. Um, nope, 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 nope. Lost boy. That's fine. Let's do fights. Let's let's keep lost boy in. Boy in. Good. Equipment. First the new stuff, which is <laughs> still these. This is actually a good one to pick up. So yeah, there's a lot of items which give max health, I believe. Uh, first things first, though. Let's get the token weapons. This be especially this one, and let's throw this one in. No, 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 no. There's also a ring. This is one of the last few times where you can use this ring. There we go. Yeah, 30 finishers. <laughs> ah, that's very nice. 
So these are all anti-thieves weapons. Well, we already have Lionheart, that's, that's enough for now. Um, resources, max life, let's see what we got. Ruby ring. Ah, uh, that's gonna be unlikely. This will be likely. Shield 2. I just need a... The gambler's jewel you for do like tokens. that one, don't you? Mm. There's something to be said for this one too for the far north. Maybe we should throw a food item in there. Generally the Inquisitor's Raymond is good. It's anti thieves. It's not really... Do we have any item which boosts our damage against thieves? Um, combat versus thieves? One of these things we should probably put in here. Let's throw the mercenary garb in. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's good. It's the reason I put this in is for uh, the uh, trading the train first encounter the other one. Um, Tactician's Buckler, let's pick it up just to explore what it does. Let's grip the blessing. Mm. Now the last thing. I guess the worker's hammer is, is, is fine. I'm not gonna fight goblins or the other guys. At least, I don't think so. Um. All right, it only took me seven minutes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's kind of dreadful. Many, the cloud of death represents change rather than mortality. For you, we will see. All right, there we go. Do you hear them approaching? The whisper upon the winds. Dark forces ride forth to stop you. Oh, I forgot exploding do that. All right, one second. Before we go, we uh, we sh oops, <laughs> I accidentally closed down the game. That was not one intent. No, that's not what I was in uh, what I intended. Oopsie. So we're using the same deck. Oh, I think the. Uh no, there it is. Hello. This one, I was worried the recording was busted now. Audio works, good. Resume. It is entirely up to you if you play by the rules of the game or if you try to bypass them. You only rob yourself. Did he? Oh, he did forget. Oh god. Oh, he kept my deck. I did not want this, but <laughs> you know. Sorry for uh, here. I was thinking. Oh, look at me! I'm I'm doing great with time. No, I'm not. It's terrible. Will we change your face? We could do some war paint. Let's throw some war paint on. Oh, gorgeous. Let's do this one. Perfect. We got some new hairdo. Look at this. This guy is like. Crazy looking. Let's take, take the crazy looking one. Yeah, this one. Top. Great. Good. Finished. Thanks. Happy we did. Happy uh, we had this talk. <coughs> mm. Okay. Attempt number two. I do believe deck is saved though. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Because the encounter we need to get in here is um, exploding to that. So that actually means that this one. No, that's fine. We have extra extra stuff to throw in there. Although, I do need. Do you throw in a ring? I don't know. But explain to that instead of. This boy, I guess. Eek. There we go. Uh, better. Much better. Okay. Many, 
The cloud of death represents change rather than mortality. For you, we will see. All right. Attempt two. Ten minutes in. <laughs> Do you hear them approaching? The whisper upon the winds. Dark forces ride forth to stop you. <laughs> a filthy street urchin approaches you in a busy town market to ask. You're the one who bound the mage and broke the raid leader of the north, aren't you? I heard some bad men talking about you. Give us a bit of bread. I'll let you in on her secrets. She smiles with a few with her few remaining teeth and stretches out her hands. You hand over a scrap of bread, which she qui qui uh, quickly shoves into her mouth. A moment later, she gulps and smiles again. Well, you prompt her. Oh, I heard someone offered a lot of gold to have you killed. She remarks while picking her teeth. Now the whole guild wants a guild one sin on it. Every thief from he thief from here to the northern to the Empire's edge will be after you. We even send you some fancy assassin, the fancy assassin, the one they call the Reaper. Guess he's pretty good at his job. At his job, eh? Too bad, buddy. You seem nice. The girl remarks, patting your hand. Maybe you'll find a way to survive, but I doubt it. The girl, girl leaves you to ponder your fate alone. <coughs> oh, 170 even. Huh, okay. So yeah, 170 max life is our goal. We're dead. <laughs> no, not really. Let's see camp. <coughs> uh, you can talk to Yubi here to recharge a bomb, but we're not going to do that. Trade. Let's see the equi two equipment pieces. Huh. Wind's return, that's good. We've seen this now. It's an uh, anti-mage weapon, so it's uh, seriously shit. We're not barely ever going to use this. This token is going to be, this shard is going to be pain. But this, what does this do? <coughs> uh, right. This seems kind of useless. <laughs> Avoid you being, yeah, dying in for 10 seconds every 30 seconds for 3 times. I don't know. Seems really bad. I don't think I'll ever put this in anything, any anytime. So that unless you can use it for something, maybe you need to need it for some uh, some quest chain or something. All right, nothing of interest in here then. So let's let's go. Empire contacts. There we go. Oh, we don't have twenty gold. <coughs> okay. Well, Billy Clubs get on top. You can't afford it, unfortunately. So, but it's on top now. That's fine. Okay, next general store by equipment. Let's see what else we got. Well, the Nortner is way cheaper. Camus Jewel, Betty Clubs. See Betty Clubs. <laughs> there we go. Do what you Gang can of thieves. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> A pair of shady characters emerge from the shadows to block your path. Um. No, the, uh, this is fine. Don't need to change weapons. The Empire is offering a pretty price for your head, adventurer. One of the men remarks while casually inspecting his blade. Nothing personal, the other adds as he advances towards you. So yeah, mm, they have a boost to their uh, damage and stuff. So they're more dangerous. Still, we have Yubi. We're fine. <laughs> I look seriously crazy, it's hilarious. I they have like reddy, red eyes, red glowy eyes. There's brimstone enemies, I think we've seen one of them. Oh, execution. Shame we don't have the billy clubs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, he is coming. We're as the din of battle fades. You gain for fame. You spend a little time searching the fallen before leaving discreetly. So, yeah, we got armory item. Uh, Gamblers to you, absolutely. The other thing is uh, pretty bad. Add three food, that's just what we needed. Actually, so nice. 
Let's uh, head to the next uh, next level. Death comes closer and closer. Can you hear it? There we go. I think we have like three days, so that's like three floors. With the threat uh, with the threat of assassination looming like a dark cloud, you seek solace in a remote inn known as the Flailing Dragon. The few few patrons visit uh, this night, and you fall into conversation with the, with the innkeeper. Over a few ills, you reveal to him your current predicament. The innkeeper sighs. I'm afraid there's little I can do, other than heal you up whenever you visit. So you, you are being healed, so yeah, that's that's nice. The innkeeper pauses to send the barmaid for more ale. Uh, ask about the Reaper. I've heard of this assassin. Even kings once feared him. The few could affo afford his services. If he hunts you, then you are in the dire peril indeed. Who now would possess the gold necessary to command him? <laughs> Unless it's the Emperor himself. Ha <laughs> ha. Foreshadowing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe foreshadowing. Ask about the innkeeper's past. I was a great magician once. Walking for the king himself. The man exclaims, gazing into the fireplace wistfully. Of course, that was before the Empire. These days you can get hung for casting anything more than a simple healing spell. Even that, in the wrong places. Um, let's turn in for the night. You bid the innkeeper good night and rise in the morning, leaving fully refreshed. They are fully healed, which is not much of a thing if we're uh, like this. Okay, um, let's head over here. It's just we've got a spider trap. Can you oh, that's right. This token? Yeah, I think you get a shitty version of an uh, s of a faction-specific item for this. Anyway, looking to avoid trouble with the local gang of thieves, you duck into an abandoned warehouse. Creeping among the broken crates and smashed furniture, you suddenly sense movement above you. An enormous spider hangs among the dusty rafters of the building, attending to the still form of a hapless adventurer wrapped in, si in, in silken web. As you watch, the terrible creature finishes its gruesome meal and fully fed retreats into the deeper shadows. So there's a few items there. You climb up into the sturdy ceiling beam and work your way towards the silent and still cocoon. So two I equipment with faction traits even. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. I actually don't want the billy clubs because they're really gonna they're gonna be really shit. I, I want another one. One, two, three. Gotcha. <coughs> Excellent. A wise decision. As you can see, it's a shit version of it. And that also happens to weapons, so it's uh, ill advised to pick it up. Anyway, you cut down the remains of the hapless victim, only to find nothing more than some old boots and a piece of equipment. The boot, boots melt away before your eyes under the strength of the spider's caustic saliva, while the equipment smokes and hisses until you clear it off with water. You lack prominence to use this weapon. Gain more fame. Wait, why do I have this? I thought this was the uh, the circus things. Ugh. This is actually a really bad item. <laughs> oh, darn. We don't have any goblins. I don't think so, at least. You determine the mercenary garb is damaged but still usable. You scurry away from the effect infested warehouse. So, we got well a token. Done. So, that's worth it at least. At least we didn't waste our uh, item on the Billy Clubs. Also, that means that we probably don't want to sell this. But let's see the equipment anyway. We got Imperial Armor here. That's 20 max life. That's 48 gold. It's not something we can afford. Uh, what is this? It does give 16 gold, so yeah, it, do, it does sell it so at full value, which is it's quite nice. So it's, uh, yeah, that's the only point here, really. Oh, the whole path is revealed. Cheerful woodcutter. Uh, yeah, we probably want to go to all of these. Let's go to the uh, exploding doodads first. I'm hoping this process will teach you something. Something about how the game is crafted. And how the rules abide. Perhaps something about sleeping gently while deadly assassins are on your tail, too. Alright, you turn to the flaming dragon and take a chair by the fire. The crowd seems unsettled, but we're gonna leave the tavern. Oh, we could listen to the rumors, I suppose. The crowd seems unsettled, speaking with hushed voices and darting glances across the room. Listen to the rumor. I heard the, I heard the reaper has been seen. Reaper's been seen, one lad, lad exclaims, drawing the attention of the other patrons. His arrow is deadly. It never misses and it pierces armor and shields, so they say. 
Okay, let's leave the tavern. We're not gonna go there yet. The exit to the tavern where we're scanning every tree and shadow for potential threat. So, hmm. Hmm. So far north is probably a really bad idea if we any of this. But let's uh, let's head over in in this way here. Chef Woodcutter. The woodcutter greets you with a warm smile. Well, hello there. Don't you see many people near these woods? Are you injured? You didn't try to go in there, did you? He turns and, and gestures to the woods behind him, and what swinging a pile of harv harvested lumber directly at your head. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get a great success. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> the lock knocks you clumsily to the ground. Uh, and I'm dead. All right, <laughs> so we <laughs> we're gonna lose this. We need to double our life. <laughs> Woodcutter turns back to address you. I'm a, a Erdol Tone, but my friends call me Tone. And you? He gasps when he sees you sprawled on the ground. This is no place to slumber, my new friend. <laughs> he laughs and extends his sturdy arm to help you to your feet. Um, yeah. Ask about the forest. The woods of uh, Mortifernum are a strange thing. Some people say they sprung up overnight, causing a farmer to lose his whole herd. It's Hogwarts, of course, but people don't go in there. Ask about the woody carrots. Uh, Thone removes a log from his shoulder and shows it to you, running his enormous hand across the grain. You see, the lumber here is in high demand. I am told it makes the strongest, straightest spears and arrows, while craftsmen want it for the cards, tables, and more. All I know is that people pay a pretty penny for what I bring back. Let's ask how he avoids av the danger in the woods. Ah! Thone wags a, large f wags a large finger at you. You've already seen the danger of the woods, haven't you? You seem like a kindly sort, so I shall share with you my secret. He gestures at a simple gold ring adorning his right hand. A mysterious trader gifted to me when I offered a favorable rate on some furs. She thought it a worthless trinket, but she had never visited these woods. I wore it for years before I even came here. While others are troubled by shadow fiends, shadow beasts and plagues, I am not. Ask, uh, ask if you will part with the ring. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna... Although we do have the gambler's ring, so we have a chance on beating this. I paid well for this wood I collect, and I appear to be the only one who can harvest it. You would have to make me a very rich man if I were to give it up. I would need at least 100 gold to give you the ring. Okay. Uh, no, let's haggle. You try to persuade Thon to s uh, Thon, is it Thon, Thon. Let's say the the Thon, shall we, to sell you at a more reasonable price. So, yeah, this first one is really easy. Let's roll really Back high. To I hope you have learned to be their master. Yeah, it's uh, ouch. Eighty nine. Let's haggle more. You can uh, haggle until you fill, by the way. So, high roll. Oh God, no, I'm I'm rolling terribly low. That's not gonna help. Well done. You continue to impress. Now it's seven. It's gonna skyrocket in a bit. Thirteen. No, 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 no. That's ter terrible. It's just not enough. Sixty-five. But now it's gonna be a high roll. Eleven. No, it's still fine. Oh my God! Stop rolling like uh, one above the target, please. Yeah. Now sixteen. Good luck. Oh, we did get that one, but it's still not good enough because uh, we don't have 36 gold. And now it's like 21 or something. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Nah, that's fine. Can I not reroll? I guess I have to reroll. Doesn't really matter now, though. I wonder if that 12 gets subtracted. Price of my price, there are no rings that to be found in all the land. So 36 gold. And uh, that's with the gambler's duel. Um Yeah, it's 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 generally well doable to uh haggle it down to like something like this. 30, 40 gold you should uh, have in, in reserve for this. So we know we can do this. Safe travels, my friend, Thon says as he returns to the forest. <laughs> that's a pretty important it's, it's actually a quite an important quest chain too. Mm. Let's head over here. So we have the gold. Let's check the equipment. Ah, Lion's Heart. There it is. That's, um, yeah. It's a three use artifact which can be used at the camp. Uh, five max life and 50 life when activated. So, <coughs> it's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. 
buy food, that's what we're gonna do though. Don't have money for this. Especially for this ma map. It's good to have in here. So equipment. Mm, probably this one though. Let's get this out of here. Detitions buckler. Do ever no, I don't wanna ever use this. Oh maybe yeah, maybe sometimes. No, there's a bit of shield. Okay, we're fine. Not will not err. Get out of here. I wonder if I can do the uh, Fun Lord with 10 foot. I don't think so. You probably need like f uh, 20, 25 foot for that. You realize this road leads you through paths you have traveled before. Yeah. Yet there is something fresh here now. There we go. This one's done, I suppose. I hope. Oswin's goblin uncle is perched on his usual log. His vast arsenal of bombs piled precariously behind him. Welcome, Yubi, he says. I've been expecting you. So yeah, we took him to the desired encounter. Yubi and the old goblin skipped solemnly in a circle, clapping their hands and reciting the traditional goblin song of greeting. After several dizzying moments, you intervene, hoping you, hoping to get to the meat of the meeting. <laughs> Yubi rings his hat nervously. Mr. Bomb, sir, do you have a magic bomb that to blast my horn out of out of an ogre? The elderly goblin nods and draws back his cloak, revealing a glimmering new bomb tied to his belt. Dark smoke rose swirls ominously behind the frosted glass of the container. With a flourish, he slips the bomb under one of four foot wooden boughs. Oh god. From a nearby bush, he draws a twin headed black snake, hissing and spitting, and slides it under another ball. 50% light. The remaining bowls are filled with small wrapped parcels. He takes a large war drum into his lamps and begins grimly drumming out the steady beats. Yubi claps happily in time with the drumming. The rhythm thunders in your ears as you make your choice. Oh, there's a tenth food there. Uh, it's this one, right? It's just kidding. I lost my, all my life. <laughs> the old goblin's drumming rises to a crescendo as you lift the bowl. The twin headed snake rears and attacks, sinking its fangs into your arms. Ouch. Goodbye, dear one, the old goblin says, bowing deeply. He sits back down on the nearest tree stump and proceeds to pointedly ignore you. So, yeah, we messed that up. <laughs> uh, oops. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, yeah, I'm uh, back in the middle of this. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube now, you're wondering, what the hell happened? There's suddenly all these... This extra token in that little thing it just appeared there. Uh, well, the thing about that is that um, it's actually been quite a long while since I last played. Uh, due to moving and other stuff, um, well, an internet not being connected properly, which it is now, by the way, hence the uploaded has uploading has started a little bit again. Um, I finally was able to pick this up again. So. I'm I'm looking at what we got here now, and um, I think I have to go to the thing on the departed, right? Makes sense. Thing is, I'm at 85 health, and to be honest, I don't know what floor I'm on, because <laughs> I think it's been literally like two months. So what happened in the meanwhile is that there is a patch released with some. Uh, oh, I, I think uh, there's a short, uh, a small patch and some um, new DLC that's got added. So yeah. That's the thing we might get, but uh, I don't think I want to get to the carriage of the departed, right? Makes sense. Let's, let's head over there. Good luck taking this token from me. Yeah, I'm not sure we've seen this before yet, but it's basically well something you need a billion uh, thing, a uh, billion food for, and I forgot to read. Anyway, and rumors of a powerful sword trapped in a frozen lake at the end of the world. Only one who would journey deep into the unknown would be worthy the blade. It says it is said. There's a rough pad, a path that hugs Mount Fadis, curving around it and heading north. Nobody has made an effort to pave it. A hungry, desperate farmer offers passage for bread. She claims that she knows the road ahead. Yeah, we're not. Seven foot is far from what we need to beat this. You press any further into the you to press any further into the unknown would be certain death. So we are not gonna go for this. It's it's uh. We're definitely gonna lose this mission otherwise, and um, I think we're already well on our way to losing this, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, let's get over here. 
the town of Hull again. So we're gonna tr throw. We have the gambler's jewel, so we have a little extra luck here. Games within games within games. So let's see. Basically, we need to roll a fourteen. So two dice for ten. That's like three out of twenty-one, right? I think that's twenty-one possible possible things with two dice. I said it with three dice. <laughs> Not entirely sure. I forgot. Uh, I did. I should write that down what the chances are, but I think the four is fine. A six and a four and a five and a five will do it. Yeah, okay, let's do it. It's gonna be. Okay, that's close. I think if we roll uh, high, like. <laughs> Very, very high. We might do it. So yeah, we collected some deceased. Uh, let's let's throw three sixes, please. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep the five. Oh, that might do it, won't it? Victory, you are learning. The pauper presses some bread into your hands as his beloved is loaded into the cart. She will be looked kindly upon on her long and lonely journey. You have to click the 32 deceased. So we've got some five food. That's nice. Having completed your circuit, you return to the Emperor to claim your captain for your reward. Uh, ah, yes, we got it. A cloaked figure stops you on your return. Oh my, I could smell these bodies from the woods. The captain asks that I take them off your hands. Here, your reward. So there we go, light of truth. Is truth really so glowing, do you think? You have much to learn. So don't actually get um what you call it uh, coins, but we'll get a ring from it. The man gleefully takes the horse reins and heads out of town. Stop! What have you done? A woman comes rushing down the street. That man, he's a necromancer, my poor Hurlo. I thought you would be buried with dignity, but no longer. You watch in dismay as the carriage disappears over the horizon. What are you waiting for? The woman cries. Go after him. So yeah, we finally unlocked that path, which is uh, another crimson card, I believe. Uh, Field of Fay. I think that's chance cards, if I'm correct. So I don't really have a good way to deal with this. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering why I'm um, healing 20 per step. What's the point of that? I, I'm not entirely really sure. Let's see what we got in, in camp. Talk to you, betrayed? Is there anything in here? Yeah, Lion's Heart is in here, right? And this is eh, unkillable for 10 seconds. That doesn't work against the other thing, pretty sure. Uh, well, we have enough food. Do we want to take a chance to getting a curse? I think it's 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 worth it because I think you can get a blessing too if you get a good suc uh, huge success here. You would be better to avoid the Fey. It is not my place to tell you what to do, however. The game will determine that. Right, and maybe I haven't even seen this card yet. I can't remember. Lying, uh, laying in a field of, in a field on a warm summer's day, you spy a, a tiny figure. You, you leap forth to catch her. All right. Okay, lost it. Oh, got it, I mean. You cup her in your hands and peer inside. Let me go, she squeaks, and I'll grant you a wish. So yeah. Um, I'm not a vain man. There's a huge success you in there. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I you have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Right, she pirouettes, 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 and leaps from your open hand. You realize you are holding some food in her stead. Right, so that's fine, it's five food. It's not exactly what I wanted. Hmm. I also noticed that I have uh, Yubi, right? But to be honest, I don't really think I have something I can use that with. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we die. Once again to the tavern. Once again to await your fates. All right, you turn to the flailing dragon and take a chair by the fire. The crowd seems unsettled, sp speaking with hushed, hushed voices and darting glances around the room. Listen to rumors. 
I heard the Reapers being seen, one lad ex exclaims, drawing the attention of the other patrons. His arrow is deadly. It never misses and pierces armor and shield, so they say. Oh well, that's fine. Turn into the night. You bid the innkeeper good night and rise in the morning, leaving fully refreshed. So, mm, I'm not entirely sure what part we're at now. <laughs> but I assume it's something like the third floor? And I, I don't know, it's like four? Ah, uh, uh, let's get going. The maiden, nice. We're gonna go for a longer life, obviously. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a young maiden. She stops to greet you once again. For centuries, I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. And now, with my strength and power returned, is there anything that may aid you with your journey? So yeah, she gives you two uh, max health gain cards. Or two supplies of two gold, I think. Or maybe three gold. Could be, but uh, we're gonna go for this, of course, because we need the health. <laughs> May you live a very long and prosperous life, she says, and with a wave of her delicate hands, you feel a warm sensation through your body. So yeah, that's 15, so we're back at start, and we're a little bit over, so 110. Um, let's see if we can find the exit so we can reveal all the tiles. Makes sense if it's to the one of the bottom right ones, so we're gonna go over here. You should be more careful, given the price on your head. A uh, gang of thieves, to be honest. Doesn't really matter. Let's use the, the, the hammer. That's fine. I think they're stronger here, right? The thieves. But anyway, a, a group of thieves surround you. Knives draw. And we'll just use you, Ubi to uh, get some attention from these guys. Oh man, I, I, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna win this. <laughs> to be honest, I look silly as hell. By the way, just saying. These guys are distracted. Okay. I should actually not go for these guys. I should go for these guys. Whoops. Seems that I still know somehow how to play, so. But these are only thieves, so let's see what happens. Yubi is almost dead, but that's fine. Hello! Behind you, thanks. These fights aren't that hard to get. I guess so. Nice. By the way, about this DLC, I haven't played it yet, so I have no idea what to, uh, what uh, what's in there. I know there is a new companion, that's all, but yeah. Anyway, he's coming, you hear as the din of uh, he is coming, you hear as the din of battle phase. You spend a little time 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 searching the fallen body the fallen before leaving the screen. So ooh, armory, one from three. Well wow, that's gain ten max life. We need twelve fame. I'm definitely gonna go for this. We can use this at camp, but it gives you five max life. So this is basically puts this basically puts us at one twenty. So yeah, take it. I should the check camp too. The is a symbol of purity, nobility, and truth. Okay, so the reaping is the final floor. <laughs> so we're gonna be five short. Shit. But the gang of thieves up there might give us good uh, results too. But let's see where we find in camp. So imperial armor gives us 20 extra life with a one-handed weapon. That having said, we cannot change our weapons. Hmm. Light of truth. It is a. It's a. Yeah. Finishes against against thieves. Drop gold, which will pretty much never happen. This is fine. Twenty-eight. As I said, we need eighteen more of these guys for the worker hammer unlock. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for the reapening just to. Uh, basically, sh reveal the whole map. So let's go here. Winter solace this. Well, long night of the winter, the townsfolk of Stiegel set up around a huge bonfire to celebrate the victory of light over darkness. The one night, the empire turns a blind eye to the uh, use of magic. So uh, I think we can trade a blessing here. We join a group of peasants close to the fight. We won't get the thing until we um, hand in two, I think. So. <coughs> 
This will not give us the token, but it will give us, I think, ma it might actually give us ma uh, max health, so let's see. You play the accept the pungent, pungent potion and take a quick swig. Womp rushes through your body and you fall into a deep hypnotic trance as you stare into the dancing flames. The townsfolk chant calling on the mountain spirits. In a flurry of snow, spirits descend and join the festivity. A curious white owl, white owl perches next to you and speaks I sense a magical air about you. If you feel particularly inclined, will you share your blessings? In exchange for longevity, yes, we will. As you can see, you may trade blessings for uh, max life. The creature let, lets out an air-piercing squawk, and I guess we are no, no longer going for the end. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, thanks. A tingling sensation flows through your body, and that's going to be ten max life. So we can beat the, we can survive the Reaper. Now with the uh, help of the posh potions, that's nice. You gaze into the flames as festivities continue around you. Uh, you find your way to... Uh, okay. So, Purgatory gives us some um, blessings and curses. Or it gives us... it takes us a f little bit of extra food, and if we're unlucky we might get the curse. We have a lot of food, so I think it's fine to go, go through I Purgatory. Have been beyond these realms. These pathways through the shadows, you do not understand them. Yeah, so he's gonna. I don't know if we, we've seen this yet, but I think we have. He says that you would milk wild white eyes and warns of impending peril. It will not leave you unchanged, as the favor and ire of the gods pursue all who journey here. So, yeah. Let's see. Clumsy begging spot. Steady heart. Huge failure. Failure. That's shit. You have your companion at the beginning of the map. Shit. Shit. Huge failure and precision gamblets. Uh, yeah, those are all shit. Basically, none of these give me b extra max health, so I'm gonna go the take the. Uh, I'm not gonna go through here and take the. Uh, what should we call it? The food hit. I'm not sure how much. You decide to take the long way around, and that takes the old man wishes you a safe journey. I, I doubt you'll find much peace in this realm with what that man, man in the with that mad man in the dealer's chair. So yeah, it takes us three food. We don't um, get shitty. Um, Shall call them uh, shitty um, blessings because I was looking for a good blessing, but unfortunately, not the case. Mm. So, we could go for the thieves, but well, we know what the thieves are, so let's go up here first. This one, general store, all right. It's a bit unfortunate, because I think the shield is in here again. 32. Wind's Return is an anti-mage weapon, so now we've seen it. I think we can get uh, rid of it, because I don't think we fight a lot of uh, of these guys. So, Imperial Armor, is there any way for us to get that? 20, uh, no, we have 26, because I'm not going to kind of get rid of the Lionheart one. Now I'm. I should probably. Yeah, should probably have gone there first. Now. Well, we could still do it, I suppose. Let's see what's up here then. Managing tree, nice. Plants. Okay, good. I can't say I blame them. Okay, high on the misty mountain top, you discover a vicious-looking plant. Its gaping mouth looks more than capable of shredding you to pieces, but at its base, you notice some unusual fruit. If you throw something, you may be able to distract the savage mouth, thus allowing you to steal some fruit. So we'll throw a piece, piece of equipment. Inspect your supplies for something suitable. And we're going to throw the uh, Light of Truth at them. So, there you go. Yes, see ya. You launch your Light of Truth at the your light of truth at a creature with a snap of a jaws, the item disappears. You pluck one of the fruits while it is distracted. The fruit is especially, especially delicious, leaving you feeling refreshed and vigorous. So that's 10 max life, that's and another round of 10, so we're at 140. So we're basically at 160. Right. So, yeah. If this gives me gold, I'm going to be sad, Sassing. because we could have made I'd it. I'd hate everything they stood for if it wasn't for their occasional usefulness. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can get there. It would be great to, get to beat this uh, mission in one go. <laughs> well, basically in three goes because I think I cut it up in well I quit uh, yeah it's probably cut up in three pieces spread over like three months 
You have to be careful. Hey, this... Can you be go? Ooh, I thought that would hit me. Mm. Alright, that should do it. Yubi's might die, but that's fine. No one cares about Yubi. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> well done. Oh, he's down. There we go. Easily done. Okay. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we got. A Reaper will end you. The final opponent exclaims as you knock him down. Spend a little time searching. And let's see. One from two. That's it. Yep. That's it. Yes. Or just a uh, one-handed weapon, please? No, <laughs> can't have everything, right? So, all right, so we we got this. Just means that we need to use this. Um, let's see, two times. I think you might actually not lose your health if you do so. All right, let's uh, get a head into camp. Let's use the artifact. Yes. That's 155. Actually, what's in here? Yeah, it's only the uh, one of one hand weapons. We're just gonna go in with a shitty sword, in case you're wondering. Um, finish trading. Use an artifact. Use one more. I think I'll save one charge just to uh, have enough. All right, let's go. Imperial armor's up. Neglected sword. There we go. Yo, oh, mm, did lose my max health. That makes sense, of course, but let's see. <laughs> now I feel shitty, uh, dumb for using the thing earlier. But you get r healed up, by the way, so it's actually fine to get in here. But uh, just just for for have yeah, for the sake of full health, I'll just eat some food. Cook food. Oh, just one food will do it. Okay, fine. Not sure if that was always the case. Death comes for all of us in time, but some live to defeat it. All right. If this thing is crossed out, as if, as um, as it says, you made it, I'll probably switch into my axe. <laughs> That's how I'll, I'll roll. But anyway, let's go. Your knees grows as you return to the flading dragon once more. Every shadow and bush seems like it seems like it might conceal your hunter. The keeper looks as up as you enter. Ah, my favorite adventurer. And still alive, I see. He go goes to relate the worrying news that his tavern has come to the Reaper's attention. My sources say he will arrive here sometime tomorrow. It seems your destiny is at hand, Warrior. Turn it for the night. In the morning, the innkeeper bids you farewell. farewell. Good luck, Warrior. You hear no sound as it strikes you. No sound, no warning, not even a hint that the Reaper had appeared behind you. You stagger to your knees, the encha enchanted shaft of the Reaper's famous magical arrow protruding from your side. 130 live. You recover from the force and, uh, and magic of the arrow as your assailant, assailant appears, approaching cautiously. You possess strong magic indeed to shrug off my arrow as would an ogre or an golem, he remarks, as you remove the shaft and inspect it. You hear a familiar chant of the Imperial innkeeper as magic fills your veins, returning you to feet your vigor in a in a rush so yeah obviously we have the surprise the reaper objective so we're gonna switch <laughs> all right let's see if that little cheese works <laughs> fine the blade it is then the reaper readies his blades to finish you off okay so we are back at 90 so yeah you're not at full health but that's fine these guys are a pain in the ass however so <laughs> Yeah, it's um, a brimstone greed assassin as well, so he's uh, extra strong. There you go. 
The Reaper. That's messenger. The Reaper, Reaper performs quick, heavy attacks. Use evade to avoid damage. So yeah, there's no counter for this. And uh, yeah, Yubi, go have some fun. Ah, snap. Alright. He, he does it three times, I think? Yeah, alright. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, go, uh, go play with him. Did you take a little drink of that? Shizzle? One. Oh. Oh, he doesn't do it if he hits first. Oh, okay. Good. I don't know the... Um, it's two, three. Gotcha. Oh, whoa! <laughs> That's cheating. Going for QP. Okay, you should do it. That should do it. L unfortunately, we didn't get that one, but uh, from the lights just for the lights justice, but that's fine. <laughs> Took some hits, but otherwise, it's uh, we done well. All right, so we have like six tokens. That's nice. Dreepa lies dead at your feet, but searching the bar reveals few clues as to who as to who sent him. You return to the inn to recover from your ordeal and plan your next move. <laughs> All right. Even death itself lies defeated, or at least its agents. Do not hurry to think yourself truly immortal. All right, the so question open. that oh. stands is simple. <laughs> who wanted you dead so badly? Of course, this is where the blade begins to turn. Sorry for the interruptions. Anyway, for surviving the Reaper's Arrow, we get Spider Trap, Fabled Beast, Interception, and General Store. So now we can actually add a store to our uh, deck, which is always nice. For surviving the Reaper's Arrow, we also get the Harvest Blade, Road Shield with a token, and Tiger's Eye. <laughs> and for. For surviving the Reaper's Arrow with lots of life to spare, we get Reaper's Arrow and Sacrificial Bond. So yeah, nice. And then we get this. I don't know what this is. For venturing into the spider's nest. Alright, so we did actually beat that token. We get the Imperial Helm, which is, I think, r quite ni quite nice. Alright. Take aim, then cover what looks in an Iron Peak. So this is uh, the DLC. So, Aranus Remarkable Fishing, no, no idea what that is, of course, and Unrest and Iron Peak. So, Iron Peak is, an, is a small, I think, free patch, which got in between here. So, before the DLC, which is paid, which is the little purple token uh, spinning around over to the right, uh, we get this. So, there we go. And there we go. Your new companion Cruel Katara wait awaits you at the Hound. So, Cruel Katara is um, anyone. Uh, new encounter looks like, right? Oh yeah, and lastly, it's for excellently giving Hul's debt to an necromancer. We get sunken catacombs. So yeah, it's uh, uh, actually I'm not entirely sure what this uh, this mission is, but I think it's a lot of traps and that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll see if we could, if we'll do it, if we'll do it. All right. So yeah, there's a lot of new stuff. Very excited to play this again. Um, We'll see uh, how frequently we're gonna play. Um, so we unlocked some new stuff. Good. Uh, the little th the thing is that there is some. I haven't actually played uh, this game a lot. I've been playing Civilization: Gathering Storm quite a bit, and there is some new games coming up, such as um, Anno eighteen hundred. Is it 1800? Or 1810? 188? 
I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, one I'm, I'm uh, kind of looking forward to as well to play. So, yeah, that's going to be in April. Um, I'm also going to the US for like two weeks of holiday. So, there's going to be some gaps where I will not be able to play at all. So, um, there's also been requests for um, King's Bounty Dark Side, which I sh do intend to play at some point, as well as um, the expansion of uh, Here's Mind of Magic. So, um, yeah, might might uh, get into that at some point too, but there's just so much stuff <laughs> I want to play, and uh, I just realized I don't have a lot of time. So that's uh, that's that. So I want to thank you all for watching, and um, yeah, if it's if this was a little bit of a weird out of body experience because of the all the uh, weird, weird switching between uh, in between this episode, then uh, my apologies. Uh, anyway, otherwise let's um, see each other in the next episode where we're gonna do tamper runs. Which is uh, a pain in the ass, I believe. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you then. Bye bye.